Hey guys welcome back to episode 4 in the how to make a test your time game in Roblox studio series. Today we are going to work on data stores and posting a message to a discord server with the time that the player got. I appreciate the support on the other 3 parts of the series, it means a lot and I want to thank you guys for the growth on the channel recently. Also make sure to join my discord server if you need any help with scripting or if you just want to chill out with other people. I would also appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, it helps the channel out and helps me upload more videos like these. Anyway let's get into the video. So first guys, now that you are in your game, first go into your game settings and enable API services. After you have done that insert a new script into server script service. We are going to do data stores, saving some owns best time and the amount of times they have beaten the obby when they leave and loading them when they rejoin. So now that you have done that, test the game, then beat the AB once, then leave and rejoin, and the data should save. Make sure to join my discord server, if you need help with anything, or comment what you need down below. Now that the data saving is working, we are going to add an extra feature, that is completely optional, but it can help you catch exploiters. What we are going to do, is adding a feature where when someone finishes the AB, it posts a message to a discord server with the time, that they got and their username. I'm going to show you how to create a discord webhook. Now go into your end part script, and type what I type. Remember to put the webhook URL you copied into the webhook URL variable. Also make sure you go into game settings and enable HTTP requests. So guys that is going to be it for this video, but before you click off I just want to explain what is going to be happening with the rest of the series. The next video I'm going to try and make an anti-exploit system, and if I can get one working then I will also make a global letterboard. The reason I will not make a global letterboard without an anti-exploit, is because it will be very prone to exploits, and the letterboard will be full of hack times. Then for some videos after that I will be taking suggestions. Join my discord server and type your suggestions for what to add in the game or other video slash series ideas in the video suggestions channel, or comment them below. Anyway guys like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.